nice, decent sized Western Red Cedar. What's up, y'all? I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead. I'm glad you came. So, there hasn't been a whole lot of talking from the very beginning. That's trying something new, trying something new on the videos. But, we're going to make something cool. Now, I think that this actually might be a couple videos. I don't know. Um, it's going to take me quite a while to, to put this up and limit up, bucket up into sections. And, uh, I still have a thought in my mind as to what I want to do, but um, yeah, we got the tree down exactly where I wanted it, and uh, that's most important. That's the beginning, but uh, yeah, stick around. <laughs> Well, I'm sweating like beyond. It is so hot right now, like, whoo, it is so muggy. It's almost, it's virtually unbearable. Like I am, I am soaked to the bone. Um, now, one thing that I really wanted to explain to y'all was I have a connection to all these trees. Regina and the kids and I also have a very strong connection to these trees. Now, I don't wanna bring down any trees and if we could get away with not bringing down any, like any trees and just go to the build site and miraculously like pick the trees up and move them out of the way, cool, I'm all for it. But that's not reality. The reason I brought this tree down is because, I'll show you guys real quick. As you can see, the driveway comes up from here. Now, our property line ends over there. And we need a wide enough berth for big trucks, what have you. So we're gonna have the driveway come up and it's actually that fur right there, this fur are gonna come down and this cedar needed to come down. Now, I'm gonna leave that to them. Hopefully uh, make some money on it. They're going to be able to drop it better than I will. Um, and they have insurance, so that's a good thing. But basically, all of this area is going to be carved out. The driveway is going to come up all through here. And this big fir, those cedars, and the basically everything that has uh, a... Uh, oh, can't even think right now. Anything that has... The pink tie on there is coming down so the driveway will go right through there so basically that's how it works um i decided to take this cedar because cedar is an amazing wood i love it i love working with it um especially for new ideas like benches uh viking chairs what have you and it's such an aromatic amazing wood uh, it also has a very very close connection with a lot of very strong medicine, specifically the tribes around this area, Coast Salish tribes. Um, so it has a, a lot of special meaning to that. And I would like to utilize this tree specifically for something amazing. Like, you remember the last video, one of the, I think it was the last video that I made, the big giant stump that's down in the woods. I would like to put a bench down there. So kind of like a meditation bench or what have you, something like that. But, uh, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get to bucking up this log. Let's do that. Oh yeah, and if you were wondering why I left that one branch still attached to the tree, let me know in the comments. As you can see, we're kind of on a steep hill. But let me know, why would I leave a branch like that on the uh, on that tree still? Let's get to it. Well, there we go. I'm gonna end this for now and keep you guys coming back for more. The next one, we're gonna do some milling. I'm gonna separate these logs and I uh, board them up on the top, run the mill a couple times across them and uh, pull off some beautiful pieces. And uh, in between that time, I'm gonna draw some designs and um, Maybe I'll show you guys the designs in a short so you guys can pick. It'll be like one, two, or three, or you know, whatever. And then I'll do that one. And uh, yeah. But uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging around. This is very therapeutic for me. I really appreciate the fact that I can, I even have the opportunity to sit out here and do this. And uh, even though I wish this tree could stay, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna turn it into something amazing. Quite a, maybe if, I'll turn into a few things that are amazing. And um, I hope you guys join us during that time. And uh, if this is something new to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to bam the uh, thumbs up, the whatever. I, feel, I always feel cheesy doing that, asking people to do that. If you liked it, you did. If you didn't, all good. Many blessings, many love. Got nothing but love for each and every one of you guys out there. And until next time, I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead. And uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>